All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And the first look at this year's Create an Arena mode, where I thought I'd walk you through some of the changes, as there's been a lot of people asking about the mode and whether or not it's received any updates, as Create an Arena tends to be one of the modes that is generally overlooked. Thankfully though, when it comes to WWE 2K23, Create an Arena has received some updates, and while there's not many, there are a few new additions, the first of which is the giant curved screen that's used for Raw and SmackDown, as this Tron now loads as part of the default setup when you first load into the mode. To run through some of the changes, starting out with the Arena template options, the Raw and SmackDown stage has also been added here in place of the default stage from last year, though the only other change to the templates is the removal of the Bash at the Beach template as that one is no longer available. Jumping into stage design options, there's also a few removals here as the WrestleMania 19, WrestleMania 29 and WrestleMania 30 stages have also been removed. For those worried about content being removed, thankfully those are the only removals from the entire mode as the rest of the stage options all feature some brand new additions. So let's take a look at some of the new additions where we start off with Titan Trons and you'll notice that all of the thumbnails have now been updated to feature the Smackdown Trons to try and better show off the designs with the previews also now being zoomed out to give you a better look at the full design. As for the new additions, these can be found at the bottom of the list where we have new options for the large modern Trons, one of which looks to be the default Raw and Smackdown Tron, while the other one is the Hanging Tron from the short-lived Smackdown stage in early 2020. Switching over to the Minitron options, we also have some new additions here, as we've got the Minitron for the 2020 Smackdown Arena, the giant Blackberry Tron from Cyber Sunday 2008, the current NXT Minitron, and then another new Minitron that features a few screens, but I'm not entirely sure which arena this one belongs to. Switching over to the header options, we have three new options here, two of which are for the Raw and Smackdown arenas, while the third one looks to be the Minitron from WrestleMania 33. As for the wall options, starting with the left side, we have three new options available with the addition of the Raw and Smackdown Trons with the same flip designs also available on the right hand side. Taking a look at the stage options, this section has some really good options that have been added as we've got the full stage setup from WrestleMania 33 with the giant roller coaster, we have the stage design from the 2020 Smackdown Arena, the WrestleMania 21 stage, WrestleMania 30, and then four extra stage designs, though I couldn't quite tell which ones these are from. Saving the best till last, the biggest updates to create an arena come when viewing the stage props, as this year sees the addition of 92 new options. Running through the new props, a lot of the new additions can be recognised from past games as we have some parts that are taken from the New Day Arena from 2K20 like the giant box of bootios and the giant stack of pancakes with other props seeing the addition of some of the graveyard elements from the 2K20 Brawl Arena. Also included are a lot of the items that you'll find backstage as the list includes the equipment boxes from the backstage area as well as some of the lockers and the exercise equipment, a lot of which seem like odd inclusions to use for stage designs and it really got me wondering whether or not these could be added with one eye on the future as having these kind of props available it would be really cool to see 2K expand create an arena so that we could create or customise the backstage area. Going through the props, one of the ones that I wanted to highlight is the addition of a gravestone and a mound of dirt as this could come in really handy if you want to create some sort of buried alive arena as this gives you an option to add a burial area next to the stage. Another prop that I found to be interesting was the old school TV as this looks to be the one that was used last year for the hidden Firefly Funhouse. So that's a quick run through of some of the new options in Create an Arena. I wish I'd been able to preview some of the items and better show them off, but it was one of the last things that I recorded, so I only had time to quickly fly through the options and see if anything had been added, but once the game comes out, I'll go through each of the new options and test them out to see if you can interact with any of the new props. So that's a first look at Create an Arena. Let me know what you think in the comments, and stay tuned to the channel as I'll have more gameplay going up later. Until then though, thank you so much for watching this video. Have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.